See, this is why I need you guys to be vocal in the comment section. A lot of people like, well, there goes GS. Not finishing the A to Z series. It was fun while it lasted, fellas. There goes Mr. Lazy Sports. Not finishing the A to Z series. So you're pretty much done with the A to Z series. Huh? I'm looking at comments. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. I got y'all, man. See, y'all let me know what y'all want to see. I got this. I'm going to provide what you guys want to see. You know what I mean? This is how this works. You guys keep coming back. I got to supply what you need so you can keep coming back, baby. So uh, right here we have the Redskins going up against Denver, one of the best teams in the game. Great defense. That means you will not see me running to the right at all. You will not see me running to the right of your screen where Von Miller is. His block shed is way too high. Trust me, it's not worth it. So uh, we start off the game with a punt. You guys know we do fourth down swags here in rec teams due to the fact that there's plenty of time. I can lose three, four possessions due to punts and field goals and still be able to keep up in the game because there's a lot of time, you know. So um, hopefully we can somehow hold him to a field goal or get a stop. Nice pass by him. It's kind of – I don't know if that was a great pass or, or a terrible pass because I was there. My user was there. But he threw it anyways, and I kind of came down at the last second. So I don't know if he just read me coming down at that split second or it was just a bad read and I just happened to be dropping down. Nonetheless, good play by him. As uh, we go towards the sideline right there, a little bit bobbled, but thankfully, uh, D-Jax holds on to it. So, first and ten right here. Kirk Cousins looking. He goes deep up top. Oh, I like that. I like that. Go over the top with D-Jax. Here we get within the five-yard line right here. And you guys know my 8 through Z means I'm using a team-specific playbook. So, this is my first time using the Redskins playbook. And uh, I missed the field goal. You know what's crazy? is when I missed the PAT, I, I honest to God did not notice until my next score. And I'm sorry, I gave away that I scored again. I'm sorry, he didn't shut me up from here. Uh, but he uh, goes on ahead. I know I, I score my next score. Now, I was like, wait, what the hell? I honestly did not realize I missed the PAT. So second and 19 right here. He goes over the top and overthrown. I think if it was on the money, it would have been played anyways. Third and 19. Uh, Kerrigan goes on ahead and uh, meets Simeon in his face. So, 4th and 19 right here. We go on ahead and I thought I was going to take this back, bro, but he got in my way. There's so much room to the left. So, hopefully we can just be successful right here. We run to the left, to the left. Oh, broken tackle. Matt Jones, good. Go. Oh, uh, almost. Almost gets stopped at the 3-yard line. Fullback dive. Dive up in the end zone. One dive for your boy Vernon Davis. By the way, Next video, boo-boo, you guys don't want to miss the next video. It is game of the year. The next game is what made this channel be successful. The next game is how I was almost able to reach 200,000 subscribers two years ago, back when there was only one or two people that had it in the Madden community. This game is what made people really enjoy my content, the good old school online head-to-head -head gameplay and it's unbelievable the game is unbelievable bro unbelievable and whoo hopefully you guys look at that out route just poorly thrown a poorly thrown out route goes on ahead and prevents me from continuing the drive i was so fr i was being right here you notice uh you know after the roll matt jones then that's when i noticed wait a right here look at that. he breaks the tackle rewind that right he breaks the tackle the next defender runs in to the previous guy who missed the tackle, so he falls. So both those guys end up falling, and he ends up taking it for six. And previously, you know, I had an out route clearly open, but Cousins decides to misthrow it. Unbelievable, man. You want to talk about frustrations. It's it's so, oh, my goodness, man. Anyways, we hit ourselves a quick little drag route. You know, whining isn't going to help us come back, right? Whining is not going to help us come back. So right here, we got Kirk Cousins right here. We're trying to get jiggy with it, and we get ourselves a good gain right there. So right here, standing in the pocket, we need a big score. Only 40 seconds remaining, at least get a field goal range here, but you know I would love six right here. So right here, we're trying to get glitchy, go over the middle, and we end up getting a huge play. Put us at the 11-yard line. We go to the flats right here to Matt Jones, and we end up calling a timeout after a three-yard gain. So right here, we go in the back of the end zone, and we do end up scoring 
Big score right there, and I still don't go for two because, you know, I missed out on that extra point. Hey, that's my fault. So 20 to 21 right here, and we need to hopefully, hopefully not let him score in 12 seconds. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so right here, we're down one. How I missed that PAT, I don't even know. I don't even know. Matter of fact, I, I edited past it because I knew I, I uh, missed. I don't know why he attempted that. Uh, I knew I missed the um, the the extra point, so I didn't even bother looking uh, while I was editing because I knew I missed it. But I, I should go back and see what the hell happened. I don't know if he blocked it or I missed it because I shouldn't have missed it. Everything was on the money. Anyways, nonetheless, we're down one. Send a little bit of eight. What? A little bit of right edge. What? Oh, he just came screaming through the A gap. How? I don't know. Believe me, if, if I knew how to do that, I would do it a lot more often. So right here, he's keeping control of the game, running the ball, keeping the ball on the ground, finding people open. And I don't like it. Dude, I don't like it. I don't like what he's doing, man. It's, it's, it's frustrating me. Like, I'm going to need you to relax, and uh, I'm going to need you to not score. So run the ball. He runs right into, I believe, Kerrigan right there. Second and eight, decides to run the ball again. Runs right into Kerrigan, I believe, right there. Third and four, he decides to run the ball. Ran right into Kerrigan, I believe, right there. So he holds him to a field goal. Which, uh, you know, we need a touchdown in order to take the lead. That's where that missing PAT uh, comes into play. Now, in order for me to, you know, take the lead, I need a touchdown, which is frustrating. But right here, we run to the left. That's where we've been getting glitchy, and unfortunately, we don't get anything there. Really quick, wheel route, and it's dropped. So we need a big play to avoid punting the ball right here. Big, big play, and wow. <laughs> wow. It just hits him in the shoulder. He's wide open. Unbelievable. So now we're forced to punt the ball. Oh, man. It's okay, though. See, this is what's good about ranked teams. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time left. You know, by no means does this mean this game is over. I can still possibly just hold him to a field goal here after that huge play, and we can see if we can, uh, you know, get ball back, and we got to score. We got to put points up on the board. You know, it's my fault for not getting points on the board. You know, I would love to have gotten that out route. On uh, right here on fourth down, he decides to go for it. Why? I have no idea. Clearly in field goal range. Clearly has an opportunity to go up a full touchdown, but neglects the opportunity and goes on ahead. And let's Matt Jones break the tackle. He hits the edge. He dives early. And he can go all the way. Woo! What a score, man. That goes on ahead and puts us up three points. Very, very clutch touchdown right there. So right here, he goes up top, lobs up. We got guys there. Unfortunately, we dropped the pick. That would have been huge. Second and 10 right here, and does nice job of killing me on the uh, on, up the seams right there. So we got to, thankfully, we got that manual block shot. We got to put a stop to this, right? We can't just continue to get, he throws off his back foot. We can't continue to give up the seams. So I'm going to try and look out for him manually right here. You see me hawking the seams right here. He chucks it up. Got plenty of guys there. I don't even click on. We catch the INT. That right there could be the break we need to end this game so right here we just run the ball to the left don't get anything very next play we're looking for a quick play overthrown look how wide open he was look how wide open he was man third and ten he dives early and he sacks us oh my goodness madden wants me to lose this game is what's going on man like you you've got to be kidding me oh. so 24 to 27 right here and thankfully, we end up batting that down. Now, I'm just playing man-to-man -man coverage. I was playing a lot of zones, but he was killing me up the seams. That right there, clearly passing the first, but unintentional. I definitely didn't mean to do that. He throws towards the sideline. Finally, he drops a pass, right? Finally, something goes against him. But the very next play, he throws the corner out, and he picks up the first down. Right here, we go back to our zone, chucks it up, and we defend it. Only a minute 15 remaining. He decides to run the ball. Risky play. I sure... Wasn't expecting it. So with, with McManus, he definitely gets in range to go on ahead and get himself a field goal right here. So uh, right here, he chucks it up, and we defend it. Second and 10 right here. Up the seams again, and he drops it, thankfully. Big third down right here. Big third down, big play, big play. Goes underneath. <coughs> I call a timeout. He's going to settle for a field goal, and he's going to score, right? So 27 all. This is very important. Check this out now. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, D-Jax didn't uh, catch it in stride because I just stayed in the end zone. So, uh, right here, I chug it up to D-Jax. Shapoinkin! He outruns the coverage, and he scores a touchdown just like that. 
What an amazing play. I decided to go for two, and that was unknowingly. My math was all messed up. I didn't go for two because I wanted to put go up eight. I forgot that the score was tied. But the very next play goes up top. He beats the coverage, and he scores with four seconds remaining. He goes for two because he needs to tie the game, and we stop him. Thankfully, my idiosity and me not knowing what the hell the score was and me going for two thinking I needed to go for two um, wins me the game. What an absolute incredible game. The next game is even crazier. My lord, what a great game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. Hit that like button, man. It's your boy, Jess. See you guys next video. Peace. He was uh, top 500, I believe, too. Nope, top four, top 5,000.